Hi everybody, Aaron Anto here, and today I'm going to show you how I rig up my Sony NEX FS100 for shooting shoulder mounted and on a tripod. I'll be splitting up this video into two parts, explaining in detail all parts and pieces as I go along. Now if you have the newer NEX FS700, or even the Blackmagic Cinema camera, everything that I'm about to show you will pretty much work with those cameras as well, with some modifications. So with that being said, let's get started. This base plate is made by Berkey System, and is especially made for the FS100. They also make base plates for the FS700, Blackmagic, and RED cinema cameras as well. Now the benefit to this particular base plate is that it can be configured multiple ways. The uh, top plate can be moved forward or back for balance. You can even remove the top plate and use it by itself. But the primary reason why I love this base plate is for the 15mm rod height adjustability. Just quickly loosen the two hex screws and now the rods can be adjusted to accommodate your lens, matte box, and follow focus. Now that you have your base plate and 15mm rods in place, you can attach a matte box and follow focus. The follow focus I have here is the Defocus version 3. Now I've not used many other follow focus products, but I have found that the Defocus version 3 to work really well considering that the lower price point compared to other follow focus systems. There is an updated Defocus version 4 which improves on just about every aspect of version 3, but either one should be a great choice for a low cost follow focus solution. Next I have the map box. The one I have here is the Cine City Pro Aim MB600. I chose this map box for four reasons. First was cost. You can pick one of these up for about $175, which is extremely cheap for any kind of map box. I probably only use map box about 25% of the time, so I didn't want to invest too much into one. Second, it had to have top and side flags, which this one comes with. Third, it had to be compatible with both lens and rail mounting. And lastly, it had to be light. I feel that the Pro Aim satisfies about all these requirements pretty well. However, it does feel somewhat cheap, which I expected, due to the low price point, and considering that I'm only using it for about a quarter of my shoots, the price was definitely right. So now we come to the top plate and handle. If you own the FS100, you know that the handle that comes with it, while functional, doesn't feel that durable, and would most likely break with your camera loaded down with accessories. I've been using the Berkey System 6 inch adjustable handle and accessory mounting plate consistently on my FS100, and I consider both of these must-haves for this particular camera. Berkey System also offers a 3 inch handle in case you want a shorter grip. If you get the handle, seriously consider buying the optional mounting plate. This mounts directly onto the top 3 quarter 20 holes, giving you a very solid starting point for all of your accessories. If you own the FS700 RED or Blackmagic Cinema camera, Berkey System offers accessory plates made for those cameras as well. No matter what I shoot, I always use the FS100 microphone to capture some kind of audio. But now that we've gotten rid of the handle that comes with the camera, we can no longer mount the microphone. A solution to this is to use a 15mm right angle block, again from Berkey System. Just attach the right angle block to the rod of the handle, and the FS100 mic holder slides right in, able to be adjusted vertically and horizontally.
If you're recording direct audio into the camera, say from the wireless lav, I've mounted a screw through the bottom of this accessory plate, which acts as an anchor for the ball head I bought from B&H Photo and Video. Just screw the ball head into the accessory plate, and then you can screw in your receiver into the ball head, like so. So this ends up being a nice place to mount the receiver or uh, anything else it may want. Alternatively, you can attach a shoe mount to the plate by using this adapter, also found at B&H. This adapter just screws right into one of the mounting holes. Like so. Then you can mount the accessory that requires a shoe mount to the camera. To finish off the rig, I almost always use some kind of external monitoring solution. I've been using this small HD DP4 for a while now, and it's worked perfectly with this camera. I have a few different ways to mount the DP4 onto the camera, first of which is the adjustable monitor arm that I bought from Jack35. This screws right into the accessory mounting plate, where it can be adjusted at will. An alternative method of mounting the external monitor that I like to use is the Edelchrome monitor holder. To attach it to the accessory mounting plate, just use the hot shoe mount that I showed earlier, and this will allow you to do quick adjustments to the angle of the monitor without having to mess with knobs or screws. Both mounts can also work with larger monitors, such as the small HD AC7, but you'll have to use a larger monitor arm from the one that I'm using here. Well, there you have it. This is my general setup for shooting on a tripod with the NEX FS100. Like I mentioned earlier, if you have, say, the NEX FS700, the RED or Blackmagic Cinema Camera, there are very similar parts available from Berkey System that you can use for those cameras as well. And the Follow Focus and Map Box should work with any camera with rails. As always, please feel free to leave me a comment or question, or you can email me at aaron.nanto at outlook.com or on Twitter at Aaron Anto.